glory of the Lord. Come down. Oh, let the glory of the Lord come down. Let the glory of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Oh, let the glory of the Lord come down. I say, let the glory of the Lord come down. Mighty God, let the glory of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Let the glory of the Lord come down. I say, let the glory of the Lord come down. Let the glory of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Mighty Jesus, let the glory of the Lord come down. I say, let the glory of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the glory of the Lord come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. This morning, let the power of the Lord come down. Mighty Jesus, let the power of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. Oh, so let the power of the Lord come down. Mighty God, let the power of the Lord come down. I say, let the power of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. We want to thank God this morning once again for giving us life, for giving us energy, for waking us up in our right mind. We want to appreciate the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He who dwells in the midst of cherubim and seraphim. He whose angels bow before him. The only power that is. The only one that possesses every power. The Bible says at the mention of the name of Jesus. He says, every knee bows. There is no knee there is that will not bow by this name called Jesus. Hallelujah. And I want you to know this morning that whatever is your challenge this morning, through this name, we will break through. Through this name, those challenges will be subdued. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. To mute conference participants. Oh, participants are muted and they can unmute themselves. Reparia Solomon. Vali Kamaria Tobos. Bagli Ranos on Petonasa. We give God the glory for His benevolence, for His glorious 
miraculous power that he extends to each one of us every day. We give God praise. So this morning, I'm going to read a scripture from Luke chapter 12. I'm going to read from verse 6 from New King James Version. And it says, Are not five sparrows sold for two copper coins? And not one of them is forgotten before God. But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you are more value than many sparrows. Also, I said to you, whoever confesses me before men, him, the Son of Man, will also confess before the angels of God. But he who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And anyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man, it will be forgiven him. But to him who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit, it will not be forgiven. Now, when they bring you to the synagogue and magistrates and authorities, do not worry about how or what you should answer or what you should say, for the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour, what you ought to say. Hallelujah. This morning, I want you to understand and know that you are valued in God. You are not forgotten by God. Despite all your challenges, despite all that is going on in your life, whatever that is facing you, as a challenge this morning whatever that have made you not to sleep well because you have been thinking deeply about those things I want you to know that they are not more than God. Hallelujah. God valued you. It says, sparrows are not more than two pence. Two pence, two copper coin. Yet, the Lord knows them all. And every hair on your head is counted by God. Meaning that every hair can be accounted of. Every cell in your body can be accounted of. Whatever that is going on in your system is well known by God. It is not randomly happening. Or something happening and God is not aware. So whatever that is going on in your life, 
whether it is a financial problem, health problem, relationship problem, emotional problem, psychological problem, or any type of issue, I want you to understand this morning that God is aware of it. That's why I started by telling you about the sparrow. The sparrows, those little birds, God knows them all as small as they are. And God says, I value you. Hallelujah. I value you. What I want you to do this morning is to stop confessing those issues. But confess me before men. Confess me. He said, when you confess me, I will confess you before the angels. Imagine when your name is mentioned. And say, to any angel that organizes your community, any angel that is in charge of your street, any angel that is in charge of your spiritual zone, and your name is specifically mentioned, and say, when you're passing through, don't pass by, except you visit this man. It can happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to pause a little bit and tell you that there are places that angels fear to tread on. There are places they fear to walk on. There are places there are places that they cannot tread upon. And when you begin to tread upon those places, it repels the movement of angels. The angelic movement takes place every minute, hour, and day. Glory to God. There is a way you will set up your house. Every angel that visits must pass through your house. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. I want you to understand this. Because the world that we are living in is not just a physical world. It's a spiritual world. Things don't just happen. Sometimes the determinant councils take counsel together and decide that this person, this family, it is their turn. It is their time to be blessed. There is what is called determinant counsel. They are the ones that determines. And when that takes place, no devil. That's why the Bible says that the door God opens, no man can close. When God opens a door, no man has the ability, not on earth, not in heaven, not under the earth. No has the ability to withstand the door that God has opened. So now, our problem becomes, how do we channel the movements the angelic movement, the spiritual movement of the light of God going through our houses, going through the zone, moving through you. Hallelujah. Moving through you. And I want you to, you know, I want you to understand that the power of God the light of God have different frequencies. Different power. There's a light when 
it is time to shine. There's also fire when it is time to consume, to destroy. Because the enemy that we are fighting is not foolish. That's why the Bible calls him the God of this world. You need to understand the, the, the intensity of this war, of this fight, so that you prepare yourself. Don't dabble into things that will make the angels fear to walk through your community, through your house. Do not. Do not. And that's why you will be constant in prayer. Constant. Fervent. To ensure that no witches is around you. No witches. You can't be a witch and live in the same street where I am. It's not possible. In the community, you must be quiet. Or you get out. The reason is because So far, not a witch to live. Wherever witches are, they repel the movement of angels. They destroy the gates of those streets. They pack it with all kind of atrocities. Garbage in the spirits. When you're entering that street, you will see all kind of abominable things. Animals, rejected animals, beings, things that you cannot even describe. When the street gets so bad, then things begin to happen. Any kind of things will begin to happen. Bloodshed, killing, stealing, destruction, Everything there is that is bad will begin to happen. That's why as a child of God, you don't allow those things to happen. Any sign of it must be quenched. Must be quenched. Glory to God. But sometimes it's unfortunate that because of ignorance, those who supposedly to be the child children of God will still go and dabble with the witches. Because you are looking for solution, you end up in trouble. More trouble, more trouble. Glory. No problem is bigger than God. No issue can stand God. All you need to do is to seek the face of God. Seek the face of God. Seek Him until you find Him. When you find Him, Mari Kalobre Tolobo. Limparabos, Balimparatuko Saya. He said, I will confess you before my angels. From today, tell people. Tell people. You know, this is the reason why we even created this app. It is not, it's not hard. You go to send me radio. Tell somebody, give me your phone. You download, send me radio on that phone. Let him be listening to the word of God and the spiritual gospel music and different men of God speaking, talking. That could save his soul. And God will confess you before the angels. For every man that brings a soul to God, there is always a joy in heaven. And that joy will extend to your family, to your children, to your generation. It runs. It doesn't stop. Glory to God. This morning, I want you to pray that the confession will be extended to your family. God will confess your family to the angels. Let the power of God begin to